everybody welcome back to all about the popcorn my name is stephanie thank you all for clicking on this video now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're gonna be talking about netflix's newest film thunder force <laughs> Thunder Force was released on Netflix April the 9th. It is an hour and 45 minutes long. It is written and directed by Ben Falcone, who is Melissa McCarthy's husband, who also stars in the movie, alongside Octavia Spencer. They play estranged best friends. We also have Jason Bateman, who I absolutely adore. I just love his sense of humor. Now, surprisingly enough, I did not like this movie. Can you believe that? This totally seems like you know, straight up my alley, my cup of tea, right? I mean, I love, yeah, you guys already know, I love ridiculous movies. If you're new, I love these kind of ridiculous, I mean, look at that, I got Kihanu over here, Barbara Star, Go to Visit Jim that came out a few months ago, or a month ago, whatever it was. I love that movie. I, those are, I love comedy. Comedy's like my favorite type of movie. Melissa pretty much plays the same exact character in all these movies. I mean, just kind of think about it. We got Tammy, which honestly, this movie, her character in this one is the exact same thing as Tammy, just with superpowers. I'm sure you're going to hear that a lot. I think I maybe like, <laughs> like twice, if that. Uh, it, no big, knee slapping, funny moments for me. Jason Bateman, I love him, like I said. He's a freaking crap man. Like literally, he has crap arms. And when he walks away from like danger, he literally goes, he became a crab man because on his honeymoon they went skinny dipping in some whirlpool or something i don't know but apparently like some like radioactive crab came and bit him in the balls and became this crab man it's not terrible at all it's not terrible at all okay because i've seen worse definitely have seen worse but i actually ended up pausing it at one point to make myself a cup of coffee like i hardly ever do that like it's very very rare for me to like just stop a movie midway to go get a snack like i said it's only an hour 45 minutes long but it's uh, too long it's it's too long the only relatable thing that i really had towards the movie was probably when they were trying to get in and out of the car because i can totally relate to that i mean we obviously don't have like a fancy ass car like that but my uh, little sister she has a small car and i i drive um an xterra so it's a bigger car so it's very very hard for me to get in and out of her car obviously not to that extent that they went through if you're already like not really into superheroes and it's an easy pass for you no need to see this if you are somebody who enjoys superhero movies there are way way better superhero movies out there obviously they're probably even way better like bad superhero movies out there that you could definitely watch over this but before i do give you my score if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. So obviously I am giving Thunder Force a small popcorn. Again, it's not an absolute terrible one to give it the water cu uh, cup rating, but it's just one that I would never revisit. I would never ever recommend this movie to anybody. Just save yourself on the time of watching this movie. Just don't do it. If you've seen Thunder Force, let me know down below. What did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? I am very curious to know if anybody actually so far has really truly enjoyed the movie because I just could not find the joy in it. And again, these are really my type of movie. So it's very, very shocking that you didn't like it. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.